Welcome to Mandar Kotz Consultancy Channel. Today, we're diving into behavioral economics for everyone, how to hack your mind for success. Buckle up, folks. It's going to be a fun ride. Behavioral economics is like playing chess with your brain. It's all about understanding why we make the decisions we do, even the silly ones. Whether you're a business mogul, a student, or just trying to avoid buying that extra large pizza, understanding your brain can change your life. Sound exciting? Let's go. Your brain's a superstar balancing logic and emotion, but sometimes it skips leg day and trips on silly biases. Let's spot them. Imagine your brain as two people, one sprinting and one strolling. The sprinter's quick but often wrong, the stroller's slow but wise. Who wins? Depends. Ever grabbed a chocolate bar at checkout? That's your fast thinker saying YOLO. Later, your slow thinker says why. Habits drive most of our actions. From snoozing alarms to sipping coffee, your brain's on autopilot. But hey, you can reprogram it. My habit hack? I put gym clothes on every morning. Do I work out? Nope. But at least I look sporty eating chips. Nudging isn't shoving. It's like a polite whisper. Hey, try the salad. Small tweaks can guide big choices. Genius, right? Those painted footprints to the bin? They nudge you to recycle. Simple yet brilliant. Losing feels worse than gaining feels good. Drop Rs10 and you're sad. Find Rs10, meh. Our brains are drama queens. Ever argued over a Rs20 refund? That's loss aversion. Share your funniest loss aversion moments below. I know you've got them. Why can't we throw out junk? Endowment effect. Once it's ours, we value it more. Even that old t-shirt. This mug? Worth ours 10 max. But I bought it on a college trip, so now it's priceless. Brain logic, right? R80K feels cheap after seeing ours 1L. Anchors work. Salespeople love this trick, and we fall for it every time. Use anchoring yourself. I'll only spend $500 this weekend. Suddenly, our 400 feels like a win. Try it. It works. If everyone's buying it, it must be good, right? That's social proof. Your brain loves a good crowd. Two eateries, same food. The busy one wins. Why? Your brain says, people must know something I don't. Smart or not. Only one left. Boom, scarcity strikes. We chase what's limited even if we don't need it. Admit it, you've been there. I bought a banana slicer once, limited edition. Did I use it? Nope. But hey, no regrets. We love default options. At Buffett's, we pick what's in front. That's why your phone's default ringtone is still ding, ding, ding. Admit it. Set helpful defaults, healthier snacks in the fridge, motivational alarms, and auto savings. Boom. Your lazy brain is now your ally. Once I set up auto savings but forgot, thought I was broke. Turns out I was saving. My brain almost high-fived itself. When you build something, it feels priceless, even if it wobbles like my bookshelf. That's the IKEA effect in action. Homemade cookies da store-bought ones, even if they're burnt. Why? Effort. Value. Thanks, brain. I paid for this ticket. I must stay till the end. Sound familiar? That's the sunk cost fallacy. Just leave, friend. Pedra 500 for karaoke once. My ears begged me to leave, but nope. Ra 500. Yar. Now I have trust issues. Future me can deal with this. That's present bias. Spoiler. Future you is crying over cake calories. Outsmart present bias. Hide junk food, set reminders, and prep tomorrow's gym clothes today. Future, you will thank you. Was ours 5K, now ours 3K. Feels like a steal, right? Anchoring bias makes discounts irresistible. But do you even need it? Bought something just because it was on sale? Tell me in the comments. Let's share our shopping sins. They gave me a free sip, and now I've bought 12 bottles. Reciprocity is powerful. Use it wisely. I'll never use this scented candle, but it was free. Now I'm a proud owner of 20. Thanks, brain. Gift cards feel like free money. Real cash? Ouch. 
Mental accounting is why you'll splurge on treats but hate paying bills. Use apps to track money without judging yourself. Categorize spending, pizza, fun, rent, pain. Easy, right? Same thing, but 95% success feels better than 5% failure. Framing matters, even if it's sneaky. 50% less sugar. Sounds healthy, but is it? Framing makes us overlook details. Read the fine print, folks. I don't need instructions. Famous last words. Overconfidence bias makes us think we're experts. Reality? Disaster. Trust me, I've got this, I said. Now I've got a wobbly chair. Overconfidence strikes again. Planes are safer than cars, but one news story and we're scared. That's availability bias playing tricks. Scared of sharks but love driving? That's availability bias. Share your funny fears in the comments. Medium looks great when the large is overpriced. The decoy effect works wonders on us. Notice the RO150 size feels perfect? It's because the RO201 is just there for show. Clever, huh? Once I bought the large, thought I was smart, ate half, regretted everything, my brain tricked me. Risk feels scarier when there's a chance of loss. We'd rather avoid losses than chase gains. Salad or cake, though. Use prospect theory. Bet on things where the reward outweighs the risk. Also, stop flipping coins for cake decisions. Businesses use these tricks daily. Discounts, freebies, and anchoring. Learn them and flip the script to your advantage. Understand these biases, and you can outsmart your brain, save money, and make better choices. You've got this. Which bias blew your mind today? Share your favorite takeaway in the comments. I'd love to hear your stories. Thanks for joining me on this fun ride through behavioral economics. Like, share, and subscribe for more brain hacks. See you soon.